The RLA was created because communities are the missing piece of the overall public health infrastructure to reduce public health inequities and disparities. People in neighborhood communities need to be part of the solution, and the RLA provides that opportunity. Ultimately, I just think that it's amazing how we've been able to go from place to place, meet with all these residents, connect with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and really know what they're talking about, and have them feel like we are there for them, with them, um, but more importantly, to get them to be able to do for themselves what they've always wanted to. We knew that we wanted to connect more with adults, and it was a match made in heaven. There's other people out there who really care about these issues too, and seeing people uh, week after week show up to these workshops and sit down and really do some hard thinking and having discussions about, hey, what can we do for our neighborhoods? and How can we improve our communities? Because of the last couple years, the recession, and also uh, many families losing their jobs, we had some of the highest foreclosures in the county here in Lemon Grove. So it was important for us to look at ways we can support our families and our community. What I've learned is identifying sort of uh, uh, successful neighborhoods that have access to healthy food environments or things like that. But uh, I, I don't think you need to be a fancy place to really uh, uh, create an environment where, let's say, you know, Having sidewalks or having uh, access to healthy food, for example, uh, is, is really, uh, it can be a reality. All of the work that we do is around community organizing, necessarily meaning we need to work with residents. So if residents are more informed by a curriculum base that, it was my understanding, is this what was going to be used in the Resident Leadership Academy, that it would further the work that we were doing to get people not only people care about where they live but give them some tools if you will to change things for the better. We developed this training manual which comprises the 10 sessions of the Resident Leadership Academy. Each session is about two and a half hours in length. Of the 10 sessions we do a broad orientation to make sure that the environments and the social conditions that people live in matter in people's life's trajectory. Um, the second part is community building principles. Sessions four, five, six literally are evidence-based strategies that look at crime prevention, healthy food systems, uh, leadership advocacy, policy development. So right in that piece of sessions four to seven, we're coming through with the best knowledge that we know. And sessions eight, nine, and 10 are really about facilitating the neighborhood self-determination. And being able to see this community that I grew up in, born and raised all my life, but to be able to see it through a different pair of lenses, it was very interesting and it was very motivating. We're brought up in this society thinking that we have choices, but if all those choices are dictated by the environment that we live in, what choices do we really have? The impact of the curriculum has been amazing. It, it really provided the uh, promotores with the tools that they needed, actually the residents. I'm calling them promotores because I just have a passion for them and they have that leadership skill and you can see that among these residents. That neighborhood was just beautiful in so many ways. The, the process facilitates literally this maturation in the leaders to understand how they're part of the solution and then we end up with um, the creation of bona fide action plans for improving their community that are smart and doable. I think it's very empowering that we're learning this framework of how we can make change, how we can advocate, how we can prepare ourselves to make a difference. No one person, no one entity, no one nonprofit, no one government agency can, can solve any of society's problems. It has to come from a collective group of people and part of that has to be community members standing up and asking for you know, improved situations in, in their neighborhood.